Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm back down here at Evolve. As many of you might know, I've got some ACS springs on there at the moment that aesthetically look really good and actually out on track feel pretty good and on smooth roads work very well. But I'm going to be the first one to admit that they are just a bit too stiff and harsh for your typical UK road. Let me introduce you to Mr. Imran, who runs Evolve and uh, is responsible for Eventuary and everything else they do down here. So, Imran, how's it going? Hi, Joe. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Pleasure man. as always. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so today we're going to fit a set of MSS height adjustable springs to your car. Yeah. Um, as you know, when you fit a normal set of springs to the car with stock dampers, it is a bit of a compromise, as you've just said. Yeah. With the MSS, we feel there's no compromise. And the reason for that is you can adjust the height because they've got adjusters on them. And the trick thing about them is on the rear suspension, they have two separate springs that have three spring rates. So I'll explain how that works. Right, yeah. So yeah. one spring has two different spring rates. Okay. And then there's another spring stacked underneath it, which has another spring rate. Okay. Which, in our experience, just helps the car maintain the contact patch with the road, gives superior comfort and handling. But you'll see when you put the springs on your car and go out. Sure. The other good thing about them is that, you know, you were complaining about maybe the car's just a touch too low. Yep. But you're stuck now. Yes. You can't do anything about yeah, Although it, it looks good. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, yeah, occasionally I get a bit of scrapage on the front and stuff. Yeah so. yeah. so with the MSS, the beauty of it is that you can actually run it at a stock ride height. Okay. So if you want just the handling aspect of it, you yep. can have that. But if you want the aesthetics, you can have that. But then you're not stuck. So if you say, OK, I want 30 mil lowering and you do that and you say, OK, it's catching on my driveway. Yep. You can actually quite easily use the height adjustment on them to, to raise them to bring back it up. up. Uh, we're not going to be doing too much of the install, in fact, any on this video. So please head over and check out Imran's uh, Evolve YouTube channel. I'll put all the links below in the description. They are, you know, proper professionals down here. And they've already done a few MSS install videos. So check them out and obviously check out the video that they're going to be doing with my particular car because I'm literally doing the intro. And then the next time you see me, I'll be driving this car. I'm also actually going to be trying out a M140 on MSS springs that MSS have brought down for me to have a go in. So that's really exciting. And I'm going to combine that in this video itself. But yeah, anything else you need to add? No, I'm just looking forward to getting it on your car so you can experience it. And especially on the M140i as well, because you've yep. got, you're, you're Mr. M light, right? Oh, <laughs> you, yeah. You're probably responsible for 50% of the sales of that car. So <laughs> to have your view on what that is like compared to stock, because when I drove a stock one, and then yeah. with that back-to-back, -back, I was I was quite blown away. So it's going to be really interesting to see how you feel about it. Sure, and I'm actually looking forward to. It's just off camera over there, but I'm actually looking forward to driving an M140. I've got such a, a soft spot, yeah. or should, should I say, hard spot <laughs> hard for him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Really Morris. appreciate it. Hey guys, how's it going? This is about a week after I had the MSS springs fitted at Evolve Automotive. I thought I'd give it a bit of time to let the springs settle and also let me get used to the car and what it feels like. And I must admit, I've only really done about 100 miles in it, but I didn't really need to do many more because it just feels so good straight away. As soon as I left Evolve, I thought the car felt more pliant I thought especially over smaller bumps I thought it felt much much better but I've come back to where I live on some of South Bucks's finest roads which are absolute shite and <laughs> the car is amazing honestly it is so plush it just rides over all the little ripples and bumps and you know cracks in the road it just does everything and in fact I'm on my way now to one of the very worst roads I know in my area just to see what it's like going down there because honestly it is absolutely horrendous something else I've really noticed is the way the car squats it squats a bit more now under acceleration which in turn gives the rear end more grip because it's not instantly transferring all that power onto the wheels and the tires and just having to rely on that it's actually absorbing some of it into the suspension so it's getting down and then getting on with putting traction down the ground if that makes sense now this is horrendous this bit of road 
is horrendous as you can probably see by how slow these cars are coming up like it's absolutely terrible so I'm just gonna call down here because the last time I came down here in fact my car not only was thrown all over the place but it actually grounded out down the bottom but you know what although it is still really bumpy again rather than this it's more of that it's just taken out taken off that edge and that just makes such a nice difference I mean <laughs> it's unmistakably terrible down here but it's just taken that edge off coming back up that same piece of road now it's so bad really really is but I can't tell you the difference that these springs have made wow this is actually going to be a car that I'm going to enjoy long journeys in again now because it's actually comfortable. Before, it was so stiffly sprung. It felt great on a Spanish or a German road. It felt great on a on a nice smooth circuit, but everywhere else it was just, yeah, it was a little bit uncomfortable. In fact, whilst I was down at Evolve Automotive, I got the chance to take out MSS's M140i. So let's cut back to that and you can check out that bit of video and then you can join me back in the car. Hey guys, you join me in MSS's M140i. And the reason I'm here is because this particular car has got some of the same springs that my M2 Competition has now got fitted to it. But more importantly, this particular M140i started life as a passive car. So it's got the passive suspension set up which I always go on about my channel as being way too stiff and springy for a typical UK A or B road. What do these springs do to the setup of the car and the suspension, the ride quality, etc.? Well, I've actually been in this car for about half an hour now and I just can't believe how good it feels. I had to actually stop and check that it didn't have any full coil over suspension setup because it just feels so good, really does. The annoying, unsettled sort of bounciness of a normal M135i or M140 passive car has completely gone. It just feels completely transformed. It feels brilliant. Going down this particular road, I can see ripples and bumps on the road, but this car just smooths out everything, really does. And I can't recommend these springs higher than that. I can't say any more. It's just transformed an otherwise quite annoying and frustrating car, to me anyway, on a typical UK road. It is rather nice being back in an M140i as well, it really is. These cars are brilliant. They just do everything so well. They're so subtle. They just feel great. They really do. This car, just, yeah, I miss mine, I always miss mine. I go on about it on the channel. I love my M2 competition, but this is just a different car. It's, it's a better car just doing normal daily stuff. Let's just go around this roundabout. Feel what it feels like. Very stable, very short-footed. Yeah, I, I can't really add much more than that. I think the car feels fantastic really does over this bump here just smooths it out just in the same way that a very well set up coral over suspension system does it doesn't feel soft or wayward but it somehow manages to get rid of all the small niggly bumps which is what you feel pretty much all the time on the road this is the sport suspension setup as well you can get a track one for this particular car which would be a lot stiffer but to me this feels perfect and obviously it's fully adjustable and this particular car is pretty much set at your regular standard M140 ride height but you can lower it 15, 20, 25 mil whatever you want really um, which is another massive benefit of the MSS springs right I think we should head back and join me in my M2 competition. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that. And as
as you can see, it was massively impressive on the M140i and that car had the passive setup, which is, in my opinion, really stiff for sort of everyday daily use. So it really transformed that car. <laughs> I'm going down another horrendous road. I picked all these roads on purpose just to put this car through some abuse, but it's really dealing with everything so well. It really, really is. You gotta remember this is an M2 competition, you know, it's a pretty high performance sports car. And with these springs, it's just really changed the way it deals with these surfaces. But of course, what most of you probably wanna know, including myself, is what it's like when you start putting a bit more load through it. What it's like when you sort of lean on it. Does it now have a lot of roll in it because the springs are a bit softer or can they do both? Can they give you a pliant ride and support the car through some heavy turns? I think we should go and find out. Okay, we're just about to join a national speed limit dual carriageway. Again, I'll demonstrate off this little slip road that it just puts down its power so well. We'll go into second. Normally I'd be in third pulling out of here. Okay, we've got a bit of a gap in the traffic. Put my foot down and it's really slick out there. Look at the surface, no worries really really impressive the way it just sits down and goes yeah before was maybe more exciting because it just wanted to spin up all of the time but that's really effective and less dangerous in the winter especially I'm sure that's going to translate on the track as well hopefully I'll take this car out on the track in the next few weeks coming out of turns and stuff just being able to put your foot on the accelerator all the way down and get all the power straight down to the tarmac should be really really good. I think the boys at Evolve and MSS Springs have come up with a real a real good bit of kit because this car does feel very much like it's on a full set of coilovers now which is weird because these are stock dampers and obviously the springs cost nowhere near the amount of a full set of coilovers so it's a really good middle ground as far as I'm concerned and also you know the way that you can adjust them so the car is sitting about five to seven millimeters higher than than it was when I had the ACS spring. So it doesn't look quite as good maybe in pictures because it's sitting a bit higher, but that's because I chose it to be a bit higher so that when I go to places like my driveway or that horrible road we've just been on, it doesn't ground itself out because this car did used to ground itself out towards the middle of the car. into its travel and just giving me traction which is really really nice but when it does break free it breaks free nice and progressively it just feels yeah it feels really predictable did I mention how much I love this car I'm not sure I have enough in the last couple of videos but anyway all right let's just put it into third load it up am i feeling any roll let's no just finds good again because the front's a little bit more pliant it actually feels like it's finding a bit more grip through the front tires as well it's it's really hard to tell of course there's so many variables you know it's impossible for me to really say hand on heart but from what I'm feeling, it just feels like because the whole car is a little bit more pliant, a bit softer almost, I'm finding grip in places that I wasn't before. guys I just want to say a massive shout out and thanks to Adrian Flux Insurance I've just teamed up with and renewed my insurance for this particular car I've talked about them before my channel and I've used them in the past many times especially for track days but they've just insured me for normal um, insurance for this car well in fact I say normal uh, social domestic and pleasure whatever they call it <laughs> and uh and youtubing which is great 
but also the mods that I've got on this car because some insurance really sting you for modifications and obviously I haven't got any crazy mods on here but I have got things like the eventuary intake, the Remus exhaust, MSS um, springs now so go and give those guys a look and get them to quote you on any of your cars whether they're modded or whether they're standard um, I'll put a link in the description below um, but as I say I'm, I'm super happy with them I've used them for years and uh, yeah really grateful that I've now got them to uh, support me for insurance on this car it's a real big help and it's great to know that this modified car is now insured with Adrian Flux finding that grip it feels like I've suddenly fast forwarded to the summer and it's not four degrees outside and it's not damp it's just grip 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 amazing okay guys make sure you also check out the evolve automotive install video there'll be a link to that in the description and in fact I'll put a link to it in a pinned comment so it'll be the top comment of the comments below so click on that and check out the install video I haven't actually watched the install video yet because I was out driving that M140 whilst they were doing it so I'm looking forward to seeing it myself make sure you subscribe and give those guys some love because they're absolutely brilliant down there I really like him man Aston, Hash, Matt and the, and the rest of them so thank you very much and cheers to MSS I'll see you guys at the next video And hold your stomach in for 10 minutes. <laughs>